So before you pot up anything really, you've got to make sure it's got good drainage, the pot's got good drainage, and get some crocs. Old broken pot is old. No, no, you don't want to do it like that. <laughs> don't don't I've always done it like that. What do you mean? Apparently, apparently it doesn't make any difference. In a way. No, that's what they say. They say actually it's, it's, it's a pointless exercise. As long yeah. as you've got holes in the bottom of the pot, right. um, the water will find its way through. Mm, fair enough. Well, do I have to say, I've had, sometimes I've grown plants in pots that have got really, really root bound. Yeah. And um, I, I'm sure that the, the water doesn't sort of get through the holes very well, but mm, well. apparently it's actually quite a waste of time. Oh, well, I do it anymore then. <laughs> Okay, one top tip for gardeners is to use crushed eggshells around your plants to prevent slug damage. No, you don't want to do it like that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> does it, does well, it not done work? Some experiments now say it doesn't work. No. Really? No. So what? It's got calcium in it and the, the snails love it apparently. They'll come ah. and eat it just to get calcium so from the shells. It actually gel. attracts them. It actually attracts them, so they say. So and I suppose if you don't actually put it on well enough, you know, there'll be gaps as well as we can actually get through get anyway. Through anyway, can't they? Um, yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Don't waste your time with eggshells. Right, this strawberry plant's looking a bit worse for wear. I'm going to plant it in this little hole, but i um, not sure if the soil's that brilliant. I'm going to just add some compost around, give it a nice bed of rich compost to bring it on. Ah, uh, no, you don't want to do it like that, Tony. What? <laughs> you don't want to do it like that. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I can see what you're going to do. You're going to line that with a nice layer of compost. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. You're going to take your strawberry and you're going to put that in there like that. Yeah, well, what's wrong with that? Perfect. Well, what happens, apparently, is the roots will grow out and they'll yeah. really enjoy the compost and yeah. they'll actually grow into the compost. Oh. But when they touch the soil, particularly if your soil's not very good, they might actually not grow out into the soil, but stay within the compost area. Ooh, so you'll actually get a sort of root ball, just a bigger root ball in the, in the compost area. Oh. So the best way, apparently, yeah. Yeah. is if I take the strawberry out, right. is if you get your, get your spade, yeah. now you put your compost in, yeah. give it a good mix in with the soil. So oh, you're nice mixing place. some of the soil in with oh, the compost, you. mix it all up. Well, and then nice. plant your strawberry, and then the roots are more inclined then to spread out. Well, I never knew that, and what a good idea. There you go. <laughs> These strawberries are going to be the best ever. <laughs> there you are. So that should work a lot better. Yeah, thanks. That's a good tip. <laughs>